Hey everybody, it's Coach Guy here from Lookout Fitness. Um, happy Friday, we made it. We got a three day weekend ahead of us, Labor Day. We also have a little bit of work to do. Uh, coming Monday, we are doing a workout called Murph. And that's why I'm here to talk to you tonight. We're gonna talk a little bit about Murph, some strategies, and predominantly, most importantly, the why behind the workout. Murph. Murph is a one mile run, followed by 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 squats, and then you bookend it with another one mile run. And if that weren't enough, they ask you to wear a 20 pound vest if you're a male and a 14 pound vest if you are a female. That is the RX version of Murph. Before you panic, relax. This workout, the intent of this workout, we want everybody to be able to do it. It's fully scalable. You can reduce reps, reduce the run. There's many, many ways to mix this workout up, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about that later. Also, there are some tips coming up on the workout uh, in Sugar Watch, and you can read all about that there. Um, some more tips, let's talk about it. Murph, as you can see, this is a doozy. Uh, you are gonna be taxing cardio, shoulders, glutes, hamstrings. It's the whole full body workout. Get ready, and when I say get ready, I mean start getting ready now. It's Friday night, you got two days to prep. Let's talk about it. Hydrate, I cannot stress this enough. Hydrate, drink water. See how I did that, how that's blue? That means I drink water. Guys, start drinking water now. Even when you're not thirsty, start drinking water now. When you do this workout, this workout could take you up to 65, 75, some of you maybe 90 minutes. Okay, it's a doozy. Make sure you drink tons of water, start drinking it now, especially the night before. Get a good night's rest, drink lots of water, eat a good dinner, all those things. You know, let's be smart. Two, shoes. Um, I know we all, you see all kinds of shoes around the, the gym. Um, there are Nobles and Nanos and Metcons. And what I would challenge everyone to do for this workout is to pick a good shoe, a good running shoe. That is really a big part of this workout. You got two miles you want to be running in this workout. Pick a good shoe. I will be wearing a running shoe designed for running. And that's going to be the focus for me as far as my footwear goes because I don't want to have sore feet while I'm trying to do this workout. So think about your shoes. Uh, third, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Plain and simple. Have a plan. Let's talk about that rep scheme just a little bit that we were talking about earlier. Um, when you do Murph, RX version, however you want to say it, it says do your one mile run, then you do 100 pull ups, then you do 200 push ups, then 300 squats, then a one mile run. You don't have to do it that way, okay? You can cut the run in half. Um, as far as your pull ups, push ups, and squats go, you could do two pull-ups, and then four push-ups, and then six squats. And then go back and do two pull-ups, four push-ups, and six squats. Break it up. That would be 50 rounds. But it's small numbers. You're just chipping away at this workout, chipping away at it. Another version would be five pull-ups, 10 push-ups, and then 15 squats. And you would do that for 20 rounds. If you are an upper elite athlete, upper echelon, you could, like Ashley or Casey or Raph, you could do 20 pull-ups, 40 push-ups, and 60 squats, and you do that for five rounds. So, all kinds of different ways you can break this up. You don't have to go straight through. You don't have to do 300 squats. You can scale it back. Okay, so relax, but have a plan. Decide before you even step foot in the, step foot in the gym. Decide what you're going to do and stick to it, okay? Don't worry about these vests and this weight, especially if you've never done Murph before. You have no business wearing a vest. I'm not wearing a vest, okay? You will see some athletes there wearing a vest. That's fine. Um, this will be my fifth Murph. I've done it with a vest. I have no desire to do it with a vest this time. It's still gonna be a heck of a good workout for all of us. You'll see, that's the point. That's why we're doing all this, okay? So have a plan, have a plan. Lastly. We want to remember the why. And you've probably been thinking about that the whole time I've been talking is, why in the world am I going to run one mile, do all this work, 
And why is it called Murph? And that's really the focus of what I want to talk to you about tonight. Murph is a hero lot. It is probably the pinnacle of all hero lots. What's a hero lot? A hero lot is a workout done in honor of the heroes that keep us all safe, that protect our country. And I'm talking about the police officers, the firefighters, the paramedics, and the members of the armed services. This particular workout called MRF is traditionally done on Memorial Day. We chose to do it on Labor Day. Ashley and Casey chose to do it on Labor Day because, because of COVID and the way the world is now, none of us have been doing pull-ups when Memorial Day rolled around. So looking out for our best interest and for our safety, they decided to push it back to September. And as you know, we've all been doing pull-ups and toes to bar and ring rows since that time. So we're ready. And that's why they chose to do it for Labor Day. But traditionally, MRF is done on Memorial Day. And the reason is because MRF lost his life defending our freedom. Um, I want to tell you a little bit about that. And that's the main reason I wanted to talk to you guys. Uh, this is called MRF. And this is done in memory in honor of Lieutenant Michael Patrick Murphy. He lost his life on June 28, 2005. And you may know the story behind this. There's a movie or two out there about it. Um, Lieutenant Murphy uh, gave his life to save the other three people that he was supervising that day. They were dropped in Afghanistan, and their mission was to find a leader of an anti-coalition group in that area. Three goat herders spotted them. Murphy and his crew detained the goat herders temporarily and then let them go, but we're pretty sure that those goat herders went and tipped off the Taliban. The Taliban came with a force we estimate between 100 and 160 armed soldiers against four Navy SEALs led by Lieutenant Murphy. Lieutenant Murphy and his three soldiers fought those 100 to 160 Taliban soldiers and gave just as good as they got. Murph lost his life by going into open ground, open territory. He came out from behind cover they couldn't get a good reception to call in for backup. So he risked his life, walked out into open country, got shot, picked the transmitter back up, and continued to call for help. He told them where they were. He told them how many people that he estimated they were fighting. And then he put the transmitter back up and went back there and continued to fight alongside his brothers. And that's how he lost his life. And that's why we're doing this workout. And that's why it's important. It's a hero why. We can never repay Murph or the officers that defend us every day or the EMTs or the doctors, all the people out there that do so much for us every day that we never see. There's no way we can repay them, but we do what we can. And this is a way of doing what we can. We would do this workout in memory of Murph. And when you're out there working out on Monday, and you're in your 100th push-up and your shoulders are giving out and your hands are sore from doing pull-ups and you just can't even think about doing 300 squats, whatever the case may be, just remember Murph. You know, he gave the ultimate sacrifice for us and if we can do a little bit, of just a tiny workout for him, in memory of him, in honor of him, whatever you want to say, use that as motivation, use that as your fuel, use that as your thankfulness for the freedoms that we enjoy in this country, the freedom to debate, um, the freedom to argue, the freedom to enjoy our family and friends, to speak freely. Um, it's, it's because of people like Murph, and it's important. It's really important. So with all that being said, I'm going to let you guys go enjoy the rest of your weekend, but try to remember these tips. Um, it's going to be a great time. We'll have a lot of fun being mis miserable together like we always do. Let's also try to remember the reason we're doing it. Thanks a bunch.